Hey, this is Cameron, and welcome to the practice log. All right, well, we got a big night ahead of us, so let's go ahead and jump into the good stuff. The practice. Welcome to the practice log. Hey, it's Cameron. All right, I'm gonna... <laughs> nails on that bottle. Welcome to the show, the practice log. Have I mentioned that? Welcome to day two of finally getting serious about music. No, I'm just kidding. I do plan on practicing though. I'm gonna practice a lot. I have a lot of stuff to work on. We're gonna start with the uh, computer today though, just to, you know, see what's going on. We're gonna get inspired a little bit. We're gonna watch some of that Milos documentary. I think that is what's next on the agenda. And we're gonna do our daily listening, of course. But you know, I feel like I'm running a little fast through this. I hope you all are doing well. I guess I'll look at some comments from the last Milos video. This one is from Reed Ridiculous. How's it going? I'll see you in Masterclass coming up. If we're talking about hot male guitarists, yeah, that's what Sorehands is all about. Marson Dyla has to be in the mix. Yeah? You like a little bit of Marson? That's, uh, that's cool. I'd have to look him up. I don't know what he looks like. You know, he's a good looking man. I don't think anybody would deny that, but he ain't no Milos. He, he doesn't have what Milos has, I'm afraid. But he is in the mix. We don't want just anybody in this list, though. List of hot guitarists. Milos is definitely a standalone. He might be the hottest professional classical guitarist alive. Talk about hot musicians. Dude, Franz Liszt. Dude, every statue of Bach. Whoa, that's a serious man. Okay, we're gonna start with the listening and then we're gonna jump into the practice. So, I'll see you at the computer. Today's listening will be Marcin Dyla plays uh, Standishin by Franz Schubert. And he's playing that on a mother effin' 1924 Hauser. Get out of town. So the link to this will be in the description. That's what I decided I'm going to do. So just click on that right when the screen fades to black and then watch it and then come back to my video. That's how this works. <laughs> All right, what'd you think of that? That was pretty good. Man, that guitar sounded nice. I mean, he sounded nice too. Now, most importantly, we're not gonna talk about what he played at all. So, remember that face. Like, the thing is, so you see this guy at the bar. He's a good looking guy. Like, he doesn't look bad at all. But, I mean, check this out. Well, because all- I mean, come on. Look at this freaking dude. Look at me, I'm like trying to dress like him now. <laughs> like, guys, I'm- I'm a uh, Milos. Dude, I'm the Milos that you have at home already. There's really no competition. Oh, and the last one left off. I didn't realize how sad this was. I need to show this to you. So, he's talking about how he learned guitar because he couldn't play football for some reason, or he couldn't, you know, soccer for us people in the States. But they showed this really funny video of him just standing in a crowd of kids playing football and, like, him not being able to play. Like, he's some sad, lonely kid. Sing a few songs, be popular. I couldn't play football, so... Like, why? Why couldn't he play football? And look at this! Niche. There's like all these kids having fun. To play guitar. <laughs> it's just like this emo kid over here. Just like wishing he could join in. What a sad shot. Oh my god. Be much more popular than... Well, they played soccer. I was inside studying the blade. Because all the girls, they love the boys who play the guitar. I almost gave up. My father felt it was a shame. Because the teacher said that I had a very good talent. So he found an old LP of Segovia playing Spanish repertoire. And uh, he invited me into the room one day and he said, I want to show you something. He put this thing on. The sound of Asturias came in. Name that tune. What is it? I'll wait. He already said it, it's Astarius. And he said it goes a little something like this right here. Dude, sick practice room, bro. Heck yeah. Dude, I practice in a freaking dungeon. Julian Bream sent him down to the dungeon, huh? He's like, you need to practice, Milos. Get down in my dungeon. And I couldn't believe that this is something that you can do with one guitar and two hands. And from that moment on, I started to practice a lot. So much more special to be able to create this pure magic with your fingers. Yeah. You know, I remember when I was a student, it, oh, people always said that guitar is the hard, the most difficult instrument. Is that what they said, really? You know, it's funny, I've studied a couple instruments in schools, like I played cello. Guess what instrument was the hardest instrument to them? The cello. That's something that like every teacher says. Violin teachers, violin's the hardest instrument. Dude, my instrument's easy. 
I don't know. Why doesn't anybody say that? I bet pianist teachers say that. It's like, this thing's so easy. And as, as I've watched people major in guitar and really work on the instrument, I, you discover just how challenging it is to produce the colors, to master some of the repertoire, and also to build careers. Yeah, that, <laughs> that emphasize that part. The hardest part about guitar is making people care that you play guitar. All that other stuff is the easy part. That's like what you want to do anyways. Like, actually play it. No, getting people to give you money is the hard part. And yet, it's the one universal instrument that we love dude we love hearing that talk it up oh yeah there was light and there was earth and there was guitar there's earth air fire water guitar it's just one of the elements man <laughs> Dude, we're in Granada. I think every guitar documentary has a scene in Granada. Spain is connected to the guitar the same as... I feel like we're on a first date right now. Heck yeah. It is the first time for me to come to Granada. It has uh, always been my biggest dream to come here because... You need to dream bigger, my friend. Just buy an airplane ticket. This is where the strongest traditions exist. Granada for guitarists is like Mecca because this is the, the land of the guitar. That's where it all began and this is where the strongest traditions exist. Sound a little noisy, man. What is this? <laughs> He's still a little like... Dude, you always have to have the last word. After all that... <laughs> I have to be the last one to strum. That's like the, and I helped. <laughs> Some hit down. which I one of the main things which you we're gonna go into that next time all right that's a good place to end off for this one uh well it was good seeing Milos again in his uh unbuttoned white shirt I'll get a tighter shirt for you guys I'm sorry I shop at Goodwill I don't get clothes that fit me it's just kind of the thing that I do I don't know okay let's call it a day with this I am going to go and practice my face off now so I will see you at the piano bench Back to the old uh, greasy grind. So I'm gonna start with my usual technique stuff and all that. And uh, we're just gonna go for as long as we can. I'm gonna focus on morel movement too because I need to get that thing down. All right, well, I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> I think I'm about ready to call this one here. Let me bring you closer. I put a lot of work into the second movement of the Morel Sonatina, but I'm not gonna play that for you today. I'm gonna play the first movement. Just gonna try to have fun. Would you guys be cool if I just had fun with it for once? I'm gonna finish my drink.
that was me playing through the first movement. What'd you think of that? Pretty good, right? Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff to do with it. I found myself getting, like, really into it. Uh, I think I, I might actually play it more after this video, but, you know, that's the main practice done. I might just, like, play through it a whole bunch. But yeah, that one's feeling okay. Like, obviously, there's some sloppiness in there. There were some slippy whippies. The bulk of my practice today was on movement two, and that one's coming along. I think maybe next time I'll play third movement for you, just to give myself an extra day, and then I'll play the second, and we'll see how that's sounding. So we'll see how neat and expressive we can get that one. All right, cool. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video. So, let's go ahead and uh, log off. All right, I'll see you in the outro. Hey, well, you know, if you made it this far, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, all that stuff. Hey, want some guitar lessons? Yeah, you know, just hit me up. Emails in the description. I will answer it within three weeks. I'm just kidding. I'll, I answer emails pretty fast. And if you have a comment question or if you have a listening suggestion, just leave it in the comments and I'll answer it in the chair or we'll listen to it in the chair, the other chair. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, that's it for this one. So I'll see you tomorrow.